Welcome to this series learning from the newspaper. In this video, we will learn a little bit about the term trade deficit. In this series learn from the newspaper, the intent is just to learn a term and understand how it gets used in the business language. So what you can see on the screen is a clipping of the Economic Times dated 16th September 2017. So it reads exports up 10.3% in August and the trade deficit widens. So basically the exports have moved up by 10.3% in August while the trade deficit has become bigger. So what does this mean? So let us do some further reading on the article. So basically India's exports have increased in August as compared to July, helped by a recovery in global demand because the global demand has increased. So export is nothing but let's say this is a country. And this country is selling goods to another country. So this is country one, this is country two and goods are being sold from country one to country two. So this is export for country one and for country two, this is import. So basically what this is saying is that since this country needed these goods, if this is India, India will be able to sell goods to other countries only if there is a high demand of those goods amongst the other countries. So there was an increase in global demand, which helped increase the exports. So the country's exports grew 10.3% and it is now $23.8 billion. Imports outpaced exports. So imports grew faster or more than the exports and increased 21%. So exports grew 10.3% whereas imports grew 21% to 35.46 billion, widening the trade deficit to 11.6 billion. So trade deficit has increased. So what is trade deficit? So what is trade? Trade is nothing but transfer of goods from one entity to another. So in this case, if the entity is country one and country two, the transfer of goods from one entity to another entity is typically in general terms known as trade. And what is deficit? So deficit is nothing but shortfall or shortage. So trade deficit is defined as the value of goods being imported minus the value of goods being exported. So when you import, right? So in this case, country two is importing the goods. In this case, country two has to shell out money into the market. Whereas the company which is exporting is getting the money from the market. So if you are exporting goods, you get money. If you are importing goods, you have to pay out money. So deficit, that means shortage is equal to the value of imports minus exports. So if a country is importing more than exporting, then it has a trade deficit. Whereas if it is the other way around, if it is exporting more and importing less, then it has a trade surplus. So let us take a quick example. 
let's say the value of imports for a country is equal to 1 trillion US dollars whereas the exports is equal to 750 billion US dollars so basically it is importing more and exporting less so the trade deficit is imports minus the exports so 1 trillion minus 750 billion so the trade deficit will be equal to 250 billion US dollars so again going back to this article basically what it is saying is exports has increased in August so exports has gone up by 10.3% and imports has gone up by 21% so this has gone up by 21% and in value terms now the exports is 23.8 billion so exports is 23.8 billion and this is in dollars whereas the imports is now at 35.46 billion so 35.46 billion dollars so imports is more than the exports and the trade deficit is now 35.46 so 35.46 billion dollars minus 23.8 billion dollars which is equal to 11.6 billion dollars so this is the trade deficit and this is what it is saying that widening the trade deficit to 11.6 billion dollars from an earlier 7.7 .7 billion dollars